Hey Vault Hunters, Stud Doogie here with something of a sneak peek for you guys today. In this video, I'm going to be introducing a build that I'm working on for the uh, Malawan Takedown once we get access again to four player difficulty. So, because this build is kind of maybe too powerful for, uh, for non four player difficulty, so I'm taking it into. Uh, Athenus, because this build is very, very niche. It's very specific to Malawan enemies. So the gun and the build that I'm going to be showcasing today is the uh, Queen's Call, King's Call, doesn't matter which one. And before I get into it, I just want to show you what we're exploiting here. Wait a minute, I'm not at the beginning. Um, let me show you what I'm exploiting. So what we're exploiting is the the firing pattern of this weapon the, the way the ricochets work so when you shoot an enemy uh, in their crit spot the one round that you fire ricochets off into space and like three more rounds fall on top of the enemy and that's what's important the fact that it falls down and that it has travel time so those those two things means uh, there's an opportunity to do something and I'm gonna tell you what that something is here in a second uh, really I just got flinched okay let's try that again I apologize for my bad aim that you see it falling on top of the enemy so that's what I observed and then I thought to myself why don't I combine it with the unforgiven and do crit swapping so since we have the time we can swap to the unforgiven and because Malawan enemies, their crit spots are generally at the top of their heads. So like you saw with that heavyweight, he has that that um, that pack behind him where if things fall on top of it, you can land a crit. And most of the, most of the enemies have packs on their back. That, that's their crit spot. So if things land on top of that, that'll be a crit. So that's the basic premise of this build. I've wrapped it up in a calm, cool, collected build because we're going for the headshots. Uh, so, you know, this is going to be a primary weapon. This is for second wins. This doesn't really matter. And um, this is the Unforgiven we're using. We've got the max critical damage at 432% crit. Um, as you know, uh, calm, cool, collected, I like to use the Band of Sidorak for that. I'm using my Seeing Dead with the, uh, the Jacob's crit and the pistol. And we're going with magazine size and um, cryo efficiency. Weapon actually doesn't really matter because this thing is really accurate as is, um, considering when you think about competent competence. So uh, this is the build part of it, or the, the skill tree part of it. Note the fact that I'm using retaliation instead of deterrence field, because deterrence field, it has visual artifacts when you pick it up. Um, and, and since I'm trying to land those precision shots, I in dark spaces, the, the visual artifacts makes it hard to see. So when there, whenever there's shadows and enemies in a shadow and you're in a shadow, it's hard to see anything because of the visual artifacts. So that's why I'm using um, retaliation instead. I've changed cold bore. There's no violent momentum. Cold bore is because we do, we are doing weapon swapping, so we might as well a we need the swap speed and b we might as well get the cryo bonus of 30%. Um, there are no points in cool hand because if we do it right and we're precise, then we'll never need to reload because every time you land a crit, you get three rounds back in the mag. So no point in uh, no point in wasting any points there. So that's why we have five points in violent speed to get down the tree. Playing dirty is a must here, or it's actually quite useful because this is a single pellet weapon. So playing dirty just doubles the damage. So that's why that's there, and that's going to give us more pellets, etc., etc. Good misfortune just to cover our bases. Um, like I said, this is a preview for the raid, so I would have specced uh, a point in good misfortune for the boss fight in the raid. Um, bad dose. None of these really matter for this build because movement speed is not really crucial to the playstyle. Um, five points in synchronicity and a point in Donnybrook because our comm gives us four. So. Okay, so that's the build. That's the general gist. And, um, you know, we're going to take it for a spin here. So you can see it at work. If I can land my shots, I can't land a shit right now for some reason. I'm playing like a scrub. I apologize. See, e even in my down state, 
I was still able to get a second win using the swap win for my barrier to come back. Okay. Let's see if I can't do this right. Okay, that was too much too fast. I'm not getting a chance to have it do the thing. Okay. That would have killed him anyway, so that wasn't a good... He's hard because he doesn't have a pack. So he does take more damage, but it's not as effective as, let's say, this guy, if I can get my shot. Oh, he got pissed on, so that screwed that up. He stood up. Come on. I am missing like a scrub. Yeah, so that was a good example of it at work. Yep, that's it. You see 340k on the ricochet. So, I think it's going to be great in a raid if I can get that precision right. So, Nog's, of course, going to be a problem, which is why I brought this along. But you guys see the potential of what I'm talking about here. That's if you can't get to some enemies before. Clock runs out. And it should be this guy. Stop flinching me! Aw, oh man, I'm getting the shit flinched out of me. Okay. Personal space! Need some personal space! Yep, that's it at work. He's done. I'm not even getting the, the second ones aren't even counting. He he didn't get critted. He didn't it didn't land on his crit spot. Who the hell just hit me? I swear to God, you're gonna pay for that. See, unless it lands on a crit, it doesn't work. Yeah, that's that's what happens when it works. Yeah, so I got some practicing to do to get it to master it, get it right, get it nice and tight, but this is what I'm working on right now. Oh my god, you're such a pain in the ass. You don't want to get too close because the ricochets count as splash and it will kill you. Everybody's up here. I know that was a headshot bullshit game. Yeah, see, this guy, he doesn't have a backpack, so it doesn't work as effectively on him as it say work on this guy if I can shoot him. Let's get this Nog out of the way. Did I kill him? Nope. Alright, let's see if we can get this guy. Yep. Oh, nicely done, sir. He moved out of the way just at the right time. Yep. 13k on that one. Get these guys to spawn. Guy should be coming out of this door. Yep. That's what it looks like when it works. See, I just got killed by the splash. Okay, but we got this badass. Watch what happens if it lands. Yep. So, it, it works. It's just... You got to get everything right. I'm waiting for my thing to come back. Where is it? Ah. Let's see how much we got him for. Ah, 
I don't know how this shit is passing through my barrier. Okay, good. He's a good example. Yep. How is this shit passing through my barrier? Plus two projectiles. That's right. Yeah, it doesn't work as well on those guys, so I'm just going to shoot him in the head. But we're going to do it on Tront. Tront is really the best example because his backpack is basically straight up. But I'm seeing some potential for improvements because there can also be a slide build that works with this because of the travel time. So maybe... Yeah, he's fucked. Oh, come on! I thought I had that timed perfectly. Snog. When it works, it works. Oh, come on, that was a headshot. You shit me game. Yeah, I didn't get his head on the bounce. Wait for him to stop doing that dumb shit. Yep. That's what it looks like. Ah, oh, come on, that was a headshot. Come on, that was right on the backpack. Yep. Yeah, it, this has some serious potential, I think. I guess I need to aim down sights to be more precise. I thought it moves fast enough to get out of that one. You see the difference, like when it doesn't land on this crit spot, they don't die, but it lands on a crisp spot. One shot is definitely one kill. Yep. 590 fucking K on that one. Sweet. Woo. Jesus. Sweet Jesus. Half a mil out of a gun that does 976, y'all. Think about all the math that has to happen to get half a mil out of a gun that does 576. Yeah. This is pretty cool. There's a nog somewhere. Let me get rid of it. Really? Really? Now you gotta reload? All this time you're running around, you decide that now is the moment to reload? It's really, I'm missing every shot. And this is why this thing is only good for boss damage. For boss fights. Blow that up. I'm not going to get a lot with him because of the whole... Yeah, see? What the fuck? Okay. Weird. Yeah, didn't need to him. I didn't realize I was going to one-shot this guy. This guy, everything's dead with that. Look at that. Okay, we're going to swap out the Queen's Call for the King. What? Oh, when I did it, I did it with um, this. So you can already see 
Like if everything was working perfectly. Okay, so that's done. Put this back in. Goodbye. Alright, now we're going to have some improvements. Check it out. Look at that. He's dead. And just like that. And that wasn't even, and that was but ugly. I didn't have my drone, I didn't have my drone up, which would have given me 100% Sentinel Cryo. So that was a but ugly finish. But you guys can see the potential uh, that this, this presents. And I'm going to be fine tuning it. And I'm going to be taking it into Malawan Takedown once we get four player difficulty back. So, yep. That's it for this one. It's a quickie. Um, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.